Hi there! So, I'm back again, and uh, yeah, it's been a couple of days, and really I've uh, been working on different things around here, but I've been having a little bit of a busy time. Um, as I talked about last time, I started working again. And because of this, well, yeah, all of a sudden I'm going to work every day, and well, I'm using a bunch of time there, so uh, like everyone else, I'd rather be doing my own projects, but uh, well, it's nice having work again. So I just wanted to return and do a little bit of stuff, and uh, I figured that one of the things that I'd like to do is continue on this building, because um, as I talked about, I think it was last time, my flower farm down there uh, is still under construction. It's currently operational and it's running in auto mode. But, oh, someone's starving to death. <laughs> um, it's currently running in auto mode. So it's producing flowers at quite a good rate, actually. Um, but it's not as pretty as I would like it. So I've been uh, digging away. There's branches in my way. Trying to cave out the area underneath and uh, try to shape it into a natural cave. And it's going fairly well. Just uh, it's taking quite a bit of time because uh, stone tool and stone and uh, no beacon and that kind of stuff that a lot of people use to make your digging easier. Well, um, yeah, <laughs> it slows things down a bit. So, oops, that's not what I wanted. So, yeah, I'm working on that, but uh, it's still going to take a little bit of time before that is actually ready. And, uh, yeah, I'll keep on chipping away at it, and it's actually getting pretty close to the point where I can work on it. But I don't think it'll go it's going to be in the next video, because for the next video I'd like to do something a little different. Um, and I will, I will get to that, so, uh, yeah. We'll see when we get to that point. Now, um... Let's see, we need to get up top here. Actually, I think I'm going to get some ladders. Um, yeah, so I had a couple of things that I wanted to talk about. Because uh, something very special happened here yesterday, actually. Today is the 20th. And uh, those who follow me on Twitter, they might have already seen it because I retweet, retweeted it. Um, yesterday, the 19th, that was me and my kitty's anniversary. In fact, our 10 year anniversary. Uh, now it should be noted, we are not yet married, but it's going to come at some point. For now though, we're together and yeah, we have been together for now 10 years. Uh, that's a long time and uh, a little bit of a too long time to be together and not be together so hopefully we can get to that point soon let's see if we need to put it this way so yeah uh, we've been uh, talking about that sort of stuff again of course like when and how and that sort of thing right now really we just want to see each other again because it's been so long since last time we saw each other but yeah 10 years together and uh, going back and forth usually me going to America more so than the other way around simply because I've been the one that has had the most time but uh, yeah because of work starting and stuff like that uh, it has changed a little bit like with availability and that sort of stuff. So, um, yeah. Uh, let's see. How did I do this? Like that. Uh, 
Well, I actually can't remember properly, so let's go down and have a look. Just want to make sure that it looks nice. Uh, so, yeah. It looks like it is correct. So, yeah. Other than that, really. Um, well, we're trying to plan out the uh, the next visit that we're going to have. It's probably going to be sometime during the summer, but uh, at the moment I am waiting for my, uh, my legal gender change to go through. Currently, uh, my gender change has gone through. However, uh, I'm still waiting for the um, the name change to go through my new name. The way it works here is uh, when you when you um, what is it called when you register to have your legal gender changed, you have to. Um, you have to wait a certain period, six months, and after that you will uh, be able to turn in a slip of paper and say, yeah, I'm still sure, and it will go through. But afterwards, unless you had a unisex name, your name will be basically illegal. So you have to have a name change, and uh, well, because it is required, it's also made free, but it's still something that you need to do and it takes time to go through. So at the moment, I've gotten my new uh, social security number and uh, I'm just waiting for my name, really. I have already turned it in. I turned it in on the same day because I couldn't wait, so it's just waiting to go through now. And yeah, it's making me a little nervous, <laughs> a little giddy. Um, let's get down here so we can get up on the top. And yeah, I'm waiting for that to go through. And once it goes through, um, Kitty has some things that he wanted to send me. So I'm trying to not get <laughs> too worked up about that. But uh, yeah, it's not always easy. <laughs> But yeah, other than that, really, we had um, an election here in Denmark, and it was uh, the day before yesterday, Thursday, the 18th, and uh, yeah, we got a change in government. Let's see, should we take this up a little more? Or is this okay? Not certain. Uh, yeah, we have, um, what are they called, um, so should we or should we not, I think it's okay, um, yeah, we have, whoops, <laughs> accidentally jumped off the building, uh, yeah, we've had um, a party well, the way that our system here works is we have a bunch of parties and none of them are really big enough to run the country by themselves. So they always have to cooperate with others, which makes the politics, of course, less efficient in some areas. But in other areas, uh, you're kind of thankful. For instance, uh, there is this party known as uh, Dansk Folkeparti. And they are pretty much regarded by anyone who is not them as racists. I don't really know or care whether or not they are, but uh, the fact is that uh, they are very much against anything that is um, like foreigners. That is not to say that they're racist by being that way, of course. But, um, like some people do say that, but you don't necessarily, that doesn't necessarily make you racist. Like they are just protecting the borders, uh, if you want to say it that way. And, uh, yeah, the only problem is like uh, they are against 
uh, letting people into Denmark easily, which can in some cases be fine, but uh, they just go overboard with it. And then on top of that, they uh, have a lot of extremist opinions. For instance, well, legal gender change. They are against it and want to roll it back. So yeah, the problem is right now they are a party that uh, with the new government will probably get more power than the uh, the leading party because they actually are a bigger party than the leading party. As silly as that sounds. So yeah, that makes me a little bit worried. But other than that, well, yes, the election and uh, yeah, other than that, I've uh, started a bit of a new series, which you may or may not have noticed, um, Tabletop Simulator. I've uploaded a couple of uh, episodes over the last week here and uh, I invited one of my good friends for many years in to play because uh, several years back when I was visiting Kitty in America, well technically he had visited me here and then we had gone back together to America and uh, while going back we had arranged it so that we could uh, visit our mutual friend in uh, Houston, Texas, or near Houston, Texas. And uh, we had a, an 11 and a half hour layover, which we used to uh, visit him. So we uh, got picked up in the airport and then we went to his place. Uh, I think we stopped on the way there and had food, or we may have stopped on the way back. I can't remember that precisely, but uh, in either case, we made our way to his place eventually. That's also the time, by the way, when I found out that the term y'all is driving me crazy. Like when you sound like you're swallowing your tongue while you're saying it. But uh, I found out that when listening to, um, what are they called? Um, a waitress say that all the time. It just makes me crazy. So yeah, I'm not a big fan of that word. Um, but we went to his place and uh, when we got there, we uh, hung out and uh, well, we were both a fan of Magic the Gathering. And that means that uh, me and him sat down and played a few games. In fact, we played for four hours. <laughs> so, yeah. But uh, the problem is that his decks, his original decks, have sort of uh, disappeared. His mother kind of threw some of them out and stuff like that. So, of course, he got upset about that. And uh, yeah, well, there's not much to do about it. So we just went with what we had and played and he had his makeshift deck and I had my not quite completed deck and we managed to pull off a good couple matches. Should I make this a little longer? Maybe, maybe not. I think we're going to continue a little bit. Um, but yeah, that's really the only time we've had the opportunity to play, well, Magic. So, it was nice being able to do that again. I think this is too short. Yeah. Let's extend it by one. Um, so yeah, when I saw Tabletop Simulator, like, I had my eyes on Tabletop Simulator for a long while. Um, but I wasn't quite sure I wanted the game. But then I uh, stumbled upon um, Rob Moran's Let's Play of it, where he played with a couple of his friends. 
playing different random games and uh, yeah I instantly knew I had to get this game so I did and uh, yeah I bought a couple of copies get gave some to friends and uh, it, what have I done here is this wrong this should not be half slabs it should be full blocks um, and yeah I gave amongst others a copy to him with the intent that we should play magic without actually telling him and uh, I surprised him by pulling out his old deck his original old deck and then playing against him with that or rather not playing his deck of course but letting him play his old deck against my new and improved uh, deck This curve is being a little bit of a problem because it is so long. But we could do this this way. Like that. That's a little better. Might still be a bit too much, but uh, yeah. Let's see. try to take it down and have a look so yeah uh, we played two games and uh, I made two episodes out of it uh, one for each time and it turned out quite well I think I'm going to pull this out now um, we started playing with uh, my deck versus his and then after that we went on to play um, what's it called uh, we went on to play with two of uh, my other decks and playing them against each other so if you're interested in magic well go take check it out not that we'll be playing magic every time but uh, we both enjoyed so We'll probably be playing Magic again, but probably mixing it up, different game modes, that kind of stuff. But uh, other than that, we plan on playing other games, maybe normal card games, uh, maybe board games. Uh, I've been working on uh, Robo Rally, a game that some might know, and I know that uh, our Lord Bash here in the server actually knows of the game and is quite ex excited about it not about me making it but about the game um, in itself and I have to agree with him it's an awesome game so uh, yeah I'd really like that and uh, I told him on Twitter that uh, I was going to work on this and uh, yeah invited him in case he wanted to play like I don't expect at all that he's going to play that or anything else with me or anyone else, but he should still have the offer because, uh, well, he is the person that brought everyone here in the server together. So, for that, he deserves that. So, standing offer, and it goes really for everyone on the server. Like, if you want to play, do let me know, and I will get you into a game. I promise that uh, you can play other things than Magic, don't worry, Pi. <laughs> I, I played against Pi and Eurota um, a couple of times, and uh, poor Pi, uh, he got a headache from the Magic. <laughs> So yeah, maybe a little much, but there's definitely too steep. Um, but I like the other part of the curve, so I think I'm just going to alter the last bit. Um, but yeah, there's different 
play, uh, different ways to play it, and I'm actually working on something myself, a project that I've been hinting a little bit about, um, but uh, not actually told a lot of details, and that is for various reasons, but... Uh, See how this looks. Um, so yeah, I've been setting that up, and my intent with the series is to play with uh, people from the server and my friends for from the past and the current, uh, and just invite people on and have different kind of games. So if you want to play, let me know. And uh, we'll set something up. It doesn't have to be a game I have. You can bring stuff yourself. You can even host games. I can host them. Or we can just figure out how to do it. So, other than that, I have a couple of other things that I'm working on. Um, uh, series, that kind of stuff. But I... Uh, I still need to do some channel art in order to actually get that like to a ready state. Uh, some of the things I sort of have worked out, but others I still need to do stuff for. I think I might actually have to take this back another. Yeah. Take this back. There. There. I need one of these. I think that is better. Well, it's definitely better, but is it good enough? Let's have a look. Yeah, it's okay. Might fiddle around with this curve a little bit. The end does look a little weird, but uh, generally it's okay. So now I just have to connect these bits up to that. And uh, there's going to be a little bit of a slow growing um, slope. So let's see. Um, do -do. So yeah, um, I was talking about for the next episode here that I wasn't going to work on the flower farm. And, uh, well, likely it wasn't. It really depends on um, on how far I get it. Because uh, it takes a long time to actually get it to a stage where I can like continue on it. Because I want the next episode in the flower farm to be prettying it up. Which is probably going to be time-lapse-y. A lot of time-lapse stuff because, well, there's a lot to do and it's going to take time. But I have some ideas with it. Um, in the last episode where uh, I was making it functional, I was uh, talking in the comments afterwards with a lady about the um, about my, uh, my plans for the flower farm, talking about that I had some ideas for it. And, uh, yeah, I hope it'll be nice. Okay, so, is this okay? Let's see. Mm, eh, eh, eh. I'm going to take this one down. Do it like, not like that. I'm going to need one of these. And one of these. That is a little better, but it still needs a little bit of work. Mm. Let's try to take this out. Oops. Um, but I have another idea that I am going to work on. Not the block that I wanted, um, and it's going to be back in spawn. Actually, it was the block I want. Uh, it's going to be back in spawn, and uh, you might be able to guess what it is, but uh, I'm not going to tell you precisely what it is right now. Only 
that it is going to be a community thing. Not a thing with the community, but a thing for the community. So I'm sure you can figure it out if you think a little bit about it. But uh, yeah, you'll just have to imagine. Like that, and we need this and this. Uh, do -do -do. Okay, one of these. Two blocks, was it? Yeah, two blocks and a stair. But the stair goes in the branch, so it cancels out. Instead, we go under. And then we just connect up. So, yeah, uh, I'm not actually using patterns for these um, because. Like, uh, when I need to do circles and stuff, I'll, uh, like, experiments with different patterns. Uh, like, use simple program uh, <laughs> programs like, um, what is it called? Um, uh, my, uh, what is it called? Paint. Um, use that to plan out how I want it. And... Uh, I think it's a little bit. I like this one being a little more dominant than the other ones. Um, but the circle feature in paint is, frankly, it's pretty much shit. Um, sorry about the language, but it is. So um, you always have to like go in and fix your circles afterwards, which I don't mind. It just makes it a little more annoying to do. Um, Yeah, it's there. Do I really have all of them cancelled out there? Ah, I do. Well, that's nice. So, I'll be uh, working on that for the next episode. And, uh, yeah, depending on my time in the next week here, I plan to uh, try to do some more busy work, which I have been doing a lot of lately. Um... So, uh, busy work in different areas. I actually made a plan about things that I need to do. And uh, it's pretty crazy. It only has like 21 or 22 entries. But if I count out the time that I need to do it, it's going to be some 120 plus hours of straight work. And really finding that with work going on as well is hard so that's why I wrote it down and color coded it to see how detrimental the different parts are just to see when I should focus on the different things and uh, I hope that's going to help it get done a little faster so let's see we need we need a circle and we need it to be on a lower part so we might need to go there Not going to work? Yeah, I think so. So let's get this. Don't know how dominant we want it yet. Just kind of winging this one. radius is a little wrong on this one so do you want to fix that probably do um, let's get some more of these oops there we are okay so let's see two we then do two. Then that would mean that this one should go away. And this one should be here. But then it doesn't look like a proper circle. <coughs> so therefore we put this one here. 
and now it looks better. But uh, I need to make it solid like down there. So let's put in these there so that it actually matches what we have down below. So going to finish that up here like that. And yeah, um, I am uh, going to continue working on this um, on this roof for a little bit. Do a little bit of a time lapsey thing for the last bit here because uh, I want to finish this up. Do the uh, the walls here, and then uh, sign off for today. So uh, yeah, I'll be back in a little bit. Uh, see you then. Here we are. I uh, put off the put up the roof and uh, the wall around. The wall around I'm not satisfied with yet. I'm going to do more stuff. Probably going to fill this in with full blocks or something like that. Lovely rain. Um, but I'm going to leave that up for a little bit of tinkering off camera. Uh, I also, as you might have noticed, I messed around with different circles up here because the uh, the roof is skewed. It's not quite fitting, which makes it a little complicated. Um, and I might uh, mess around with that a little bit more. I might extend this out to here to match uh, an oval that I'm going to put over here or something about uh, of that nature. Um, and I'm going to mess around with that off camera and then return with the uh, result. Other than that, I'm going to try to work out a layout inside the building here. Um, figure out some rooms for people, guests, that sort of thing. Uh, I'm thinking maybe making diagonal walls of some sort. And uh, yeah, making some kind of common room in the middle. 
Um, but this episode is really long enough already with the time loss and everything counted. So uh, I just had one more thing that I wanted to show. And that is uh, over here. If we go into my basement. But uh, by the way, you might wonder how I figured uh, the positioning for the flower farm. And I actually made this map. Which is a big area with a lot of grass and then bone meal to hell. And basically I wanted to find this spot right here. A nice little spot with pink tulips. But uh, I wanted to find a starting point which is right over here. This one here. And then I wanted to find a path or a general path to cover as many flowers as I possibly could. And uh, in this map here I found every flower except for the daisies, which uh, is the last bit of the farm. So uh, uh, the, uh, the other part that I didn't put in in the video but put in by myself afterwards. So I used that as a map to figure out where to put the farm and how to actually move it around and for which area I wanted to concentrate, namely the um, the pink tulips. And down here I have made my sorting system. And uh, it works except for spigot being buggy. If we look in here we'll see flowers. And that is because every once in a while it will need a reset. So uh, take this, this. Every once in a while it will um, mess up one of the hoppers and will stop taking in flowers. And you need to remove it and put it back. Kind of annoying, but uh, there's not much I can do about it. That is just the joys of spigot. So, yeah. See, you can take these out as well, like that. Let those count. But uh, yeah, how it works is up here is the collection point for the flowers. They then cycle through this way, all the way over here, and comes over here, goes this direction, and then up here into this dropper which uh, has a circuit here connected that activates when something is in it and then starts pulsing it out into this. I originally wanted to put um, a cactus here because lava, fire hazard, that sort of thing, uh, but to destroy the items. But since it is so buggy, I figured I'd put a temporary storage like this so that I can go in, take the flowers that was giving problems, put them in the right place. So uh, we have here red tulips, orange tulips, white tulips and pink tulips and in the middle we have the poppies, the daisies, the uh, what are they called? Um, azure bluette, uh, the daisies, those are not daisies, those are dandelions, dandelions, azure bluettes, da uh, daisies and the uh, allium. That is uh, how the flower fan is working at the moment and we're going to put up a wall here um, and these pillars here are going to be um, dark, uh, dark oak, so that I can use them as an entrance. I can just cut them out and then go through the wall. But otherwise you'd be able to see the chests here and I'm going to have a little bit of um, a podium in front with a flower pot and a flower in them to indicate where the different flowers are. And as you can see, I have a, a fair amount of flowers by now. At least enough to supply people. So uh, I put up a store in Spawn as you saw in the last episode and uh, started passing them to people because everybody should have some lovely flowers. So that is what I wanted to do today. Thank you very much for watching and I'll be seeing you again next time. Bye bye.